why the law when preaching why the law when preaching first timothy chapter number one in verse eight but we know we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully knowing this that the law is not made for a righteous man but for the lawless and disobedient for the ungodly and for sinners for unholy and profane for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers for manslayers for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for purged persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. The law is part of the gospel. The law is light. The law is light. Isaiah 8 and verse 20. Isaiah chapter number 8 in verse 20. To the law and the, to the testimony if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. To the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Proverbs 6.23 Proverbs 6 verse 23 the law's light for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life the law is light the law is part of the gospel the law is light the law is holy the law is holy Romans 7 Romans 7 and verse 12, the law is holy. Wherefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. The law is part of the gospel. It's light. It's holy. The law is perfect. Psalm 19 and 7. The law is perfect. The law is perfect. The law is perfect. Psalm 19, 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect, it's holy, it's light, it's part of the gospel. It's not made for a righteous man, but for sinners. The law is good if used lawfully. It's part of the blessed gospel, he said. Part of the gospel. The law is and was the law was if you're born again the law was your schoolmaster it is a schoolmaster the law the law is a schoolmaster or if you're born again it was your schoolmaster galatians 3 and 24 The law 
Galatians 3 and 24. But before faith came, in verse 23, but before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up under faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. The law, if you're born again, was your schoolmaster. The law revealed itself. The law is holy, it's perfect, it's light, it shined on you. It revealed how holy it was. And it's perfect for converting the soul. Why? Because it shows your need. It's a schoolmaster to show your need for Jesus. To show your need that you've sinned. To show your need that you need to repent. And you need to put your faith in Christ and what he's done on the cross. It's a schoolmaster if you're lost and it was your schoolmaster if you're born again. So it's part of the gospel, it's light, it's holy, it's perfect, it's a schoolmaster, and it is the knowledge of sin. Romans 3, 20. Romans 3, 20. The law. By the law is knowledge of sin. Verse 20, therefore, by the deeds of the law, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. By the law is the knowledge of sin. The law is part of the gospel, 1 Timothy 1, 8 through 11. The law is light, Isaiah 8, 20, Proverbs 6, 23. The law is holy, Romans 7, 12. The law is perfect, Psalm 19, 7. The law was our schoolmaster if we're born again. It is your schoolmaster if you're not, Galatians 3, 24. By the law is the knowledge of sin, Romans 3, 20. And Romans 3, 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them that who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and the whole world and all the world may become guilty before God. Whatsoever things the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law. The law must be preached. The law must be preached. It's part of the gospel. It's light. It's holy. It's perfect. It's a schoolmaster to bring us to, and it was our schoolmaster if we're born again, through repentance and faith in Christ. By it is the knowledge of sin, and whatsoever things it saith, the law. Whatsoever thing the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law. that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. The law. The law must be preached because the law points to Jesus. It points your need. points you to your need for Christ. It reveals who you are. It shows you that you're under it. And so are you under it today? Examine yourself. Because whatsoever things it saith, it saith to them who are under it. The law. The law is important and the law must be preached.